Hey guys, Jake from GD Honey Acres here. Today, we have two goals. Find the queen in this one and go through the original Sophia hive and hopefully find a queen in there. Now when I moved this one from the water A over to the Langstroth, there was eggs that I saw in the comb. So hopefully today we're gonna to find a queen. We do find her. We are going to mark her blue because it's still 2020. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're gonna open her up now. I already did smoke them. Let's see how they're doing. Well, they're already drawn out on this outside frame. That's wonderful. They're drawn in here. They got some pollen stores right over here going on. That's good. I like to see that. It's a great indicator. No queen running around on this. Now we're starting to get into the rescue frames that I made. But what we should see is they should have reattached it up top. Oh yeah, they got it attached all the way around. Look at that. Look at all that capped worker brood. Guys, we have to have a queen in here. Just gotta find her. And see how they reattached everything up there at the top? This is one of those that we saved. We made that, that rescue frame. And now the hunt is on. When I find her, hopefully I find her, I will show you guys. Okay guys, I found her queen. See if you could spot her. She's towards the bottom there. Long, brown, really hard to find. Really hard. Now the fun part of catching her. Okay guys, I got the queen. This is the queen from the swarm. I'm pretty excited that I got her. Now we just gotta get her set up so we can mark her. Okay, get my marker out. We got her marked. We'll let that dry for a minute. So glad we got her. I did not know if I was gonna find her because it was just super hard. So goal accomplished today with, uh, with the swarm hive. By the way, since we got her, her name is Torvi. Can you guys guess where that name comes from? What show? My favorite show ever. So, hello Torvi. It's nice to meet you. I will be showing Mrs. Jake the video here. You are pretty. You are gorgeous like golden brown almost. Queen Torvi, you're doing great so far. Keep up the wonderful work. Let's put you back in. Let's open it up slowly, Let's shake her down a little bit. See if we can't get her going back into her. There she is, and bye Torvi. Keep doing what you do, girl. Hopefully we find your other sister and name her. All right, so we found Torvi. If you have a guess of what, if, when we find this queen, what her name is gonna be, put it down in the comments. Let's uh, go through, check our supers quick, and then find our queen. This is still all nicely wet, so they're still pulling it in. Good news is, it looks like all our goldenrod is about ready to start blooming, so we're, we might not even hit a dearth this year, because there's still flowers galore out there going. But all that goldenrod is starting to bloom, so we might not be hitting a dearth. Let's go and get into our other super. Mm. 
nothing with it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it on for now. Just it, it makes it gives them enough room, so that way they're not running out of room, and and it'll help give them more of a convection going on in there to help dehydrate the nectar into honey. Now the fun part. Let's find our queen, guys. Hopefully we can see some eggs. Because Torvi's laying. And she hatched, I'd say about five or six days before this queen did. So let's see if we can find her. And also check their food stores inside the brood. Oh man, that's a heavy one. All wet cells, which is good. I'm glad to see wet cells. Wet cells is a great thing. By the way, Torvi, I'm going to keep feeding because they're still building a lot of comb. This one, I don't think we're going to need a feeder because they're still got a lot of wet cells going. Drawing this one out, I think we must have check aborted this frame into there. They're drawing it out now. Hopefully we'll be getting into some brood here soon. I'm hoping to find eggs. Find eggs, single eggs per cell. That's what we want. That's a good indicator we'll have a queen if I find that. See a lot of open comb here, and no eggs yet. She should have had plenty of time to get mated by now. If she's in here. They're pretty calm, so you'd think that the queen is here. All right, guys. Actually, I just found the queen. That was really easy. Well, that was unexpected. I just caught the queen. I think she was on this frame looking to lay eggs. Did not expect that at all. She's a little bit lighter color than Torvi. But here she is, guys. She's pretty. A lot easier to spot. And this queen, her name is Lagertha. Lagertha, I hope you're as good as your mother, Sophia. Let's get you marked. So with this one, I try to get it right there so it's visible, then just get the dot right on top. Like that. You never push the marker, always make a little dollop, and get a little dollop of that paint on her. And go ahead and mark her. If that worker will get out of the way. They do not want to let go. Get a little bit more on there, then drop her down. And there she is. Queen Lagertha, nice to meet you. Welcome to GD Honey Acres Apiary. Let's get you dried off and get you back in your in your colony, girly. Now, all we gotta do is hopefully find your eggs. If I find single eggs, I will be much happier. If not, I don't know, you might get replaced, girl. Let's hope you're doing good. Guys, we got single eggs. We have a queen right colony. She's laying wonderful. I'm happy. I'm really happy with that. Uh, I was getting nervous because there's a whole lot of open cells. But I, I went through a lot of frames before I finally saw single eggs. So she's just getting started, I do believe. Can't wait to get rid of some of this old comb next year. Oh, that's all single eggs. This entire frame is single eggs. That is wonderful. I think we got ourselves a good queen, guys. Torvi's packed with eggs. Looks like Lagertha's packed. I'm seeing wet cells with Lagertha. Wet cells and Torvi, but I'm still gonna feed Torvi because 
I personally think she's going to need it for a little while yet. We're going to have to feed her as much as we can. Hopefully get to a point of putting another deep on there. But it's August now. So, uh, I don't know, I might just try a medium with her and try to get her to fill a medium out. Well, let's get this put back together. Because now the goal for Lagertha here is getting her built out enough to survive winter. The goal this year has never been to get honey. We are going to, but the goal is to never get honey. All right, guys. We found Torby. We found Lagertha. They're both marked. They're both laying. They're good size. They're beautiful queens. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Hope you're doing well wherever you are, whenever you are. Please give us a like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go through and just check on supers and go back inside. I still have homework to do. Going to school part-time sucks, guys. If you, if you can figure out what you want to do in life before you get done with high school, actually finish a degree. Go for the degree and finish it. Don't. I don't recommend doing like I did and taking forever to figure out what you want to do and then getting the degree while you're working full-time, raising a family and beekeeping at the same time with gardening and blacksmithing and all the other little hobbies. But yeah, whatever. Keeps me busy. I love everything I do. I'm almost done with the uh, college. So guys, hopefully you like this, enjoyed it. Maybe it helped you out in some way, gave you some ideas. Please give us a like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching. I hope you're doing well whenever you are, wherever you are. We'll catch y'all later. Bye.